Hey there, I'm Joni Simon, food photographer. Welcome to my kitchen studio. Now, I don't often do gear reviews on this channel. It's just not something that really lights my wick. But Apple recently announced their brand new iPhone 13s. And there were two features in particular that made me stop and go, whoa, really? Like, <laughs> some pretty cool features. And so, fortunately, the folks over at Apple sent me the iPhone 13s to play with before they're released. I feel super duper honored to get to play around with all, all, we got all the phones, all the phones, people. So Apple's announcement included the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini, which, how cute is that, right? It's like bite-sized. <laughs> and then we've got the iPhone 13 Pro, and then the camera that's actually recording this video right here, right now, is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So that big old beautiful screen that when I opened up Instagram the first time, I'm like, oh, look how gorgeous these photos look. But screen size and all of that aside, what was most important to me, of course, were the cameras. And so when we're talking about the Pro series, the really cool feature that I thought, oh, that's nice that the camera can do that now. And I wanted to test it out for myself is in the Pro series, you now have a macro ability that you can get within two centimeters of your subject. So to to demonstrate and to play around with these different cameras, I whipped up a favorite family recipe. This is something my mom would make on special occasions. Some orange jello with those little mandarin orange slices topped with whipped cream. So, and of course my boys were all about helping <laughs> make this video and participating in this production. But the reason that I went with this subject is I thought, okay, mandarin oranges are really small. And then we've got all those beautiful little segments and details. And so this is a great opportunity to put that macro lens to the test. But you can see I'm not using any fancy equipment or gear or lights or anything like that, just using the beautiful window light that's streaming through my kitchen window there. And so I sliced up the mandarins because I thought it would be really cool to get really nice and close up to those segments. And sure enough, you can see I'm here within two centimeters and the camera makes the modifications in order to get that really nice close up and still be able to capture all of those glorious details because maybe you've experienced this, other phone cameras and other cameras in general, when you try to get too close, that there's a minimum focusing distance, that if you get too close, the camera can't grab that focus. But given the brand new technology here in the iPhone 13 Pro series, both the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we can get those glorious macro shots, which you know, us as food photographers, we are all about the details. But now something that's really fun, and I find that anytime I'm using new technology, or trying something out of the ordinary is that I look at things a little differently. And so this kind of top-down perspective, it was maybe a little predictable. And so I thought, what else can I do with this? You know, I've got kind of this one solitary subject. How can I push the boundaries? And so <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened in my mind, but I looked at the window and I thought, what if I could have the light streaming through the orange segments? So I went ahead and I just, I literally popped the orange right there into the window. I had to clean the window up a little bit <laughs> afterward uh, and then got the camera really nice and close up. And oh my gosh, such a cool shot, right? But that's the beauty of macro photography is being able to see the details details and the things that maybe we sometimes just pass by. This is that opportunity to stop and smell the roses or in this case stop and really pay attention to and really look at the beautiful things that are going on inside of a mandarin orange. So then moving on to the second feature that when they announced the iPhone 13s and went through all the new kind of features and everything with the products, this was one of the things that I was like, really? Like they can do that? <laughs> yes. And I really wanted to get my hands on it. I'm actually using it right now. So it is the new cinematic mode. So I am currently filming this on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I've got the nice big screen to see everything going on. And then I'm also filming this with the front camera. So it's the true depth camera great quality, great resolution, but then I'm also using it in cinematic mode, which if you can tell, we've got kind of this depth of field going on, right? Like I'm in focus, but we got a nice little bouquet going on in the background. Well, just like our DSLRs and our mirrorless cameras, we now have the option here in the iPhone 13 cinematic mode to select our aperture. So for example, right now I've selected an aperture of F5, which is giving me enough depth of field so we can still 
still see me. We can still get some nice creamy bouquet in the background, but it's like we still got some definition there. But you can dial it all the way down to f2.8 or all the way up to f16, depending on what it is that you're trying to capture. However, where the real game changer comes is that you can film a clip and adjust where the focus is placed after you've filmed it. I know, right? Because how many times have you filmed something and then you find out as you're reviewing the footage that it's slightly out of focus or the focus was grabbed by something else that it just wasn't placed where you wanted it? Well, now with the new cinematic mode, we in the editing process can adjust that afterward. And so you can see that here in action with our Jello. So I set up this scene and then I intentionally set it up and place the focus to lock because that's another really cool thing that we can do. We can lock the focus on a particular Particular subject, but I locked the focus on the back jello, which I knew wasn't going to be like the focal point of the scene, but I did it wrong just on purpose so that we could demonstrate this new <laughs> feature. And so I went ahead and filmed the sequence. And then, of course, when I add that additional jello into the scene, into the forefront, it's not in focus, right? And so in the past, we would have like had to refilm that. But now with the new cinematic mode, I can just pop into the edit, go to the place where it's coming in right there, and then go ahead and say lock focus on that particular subject. And so now as we go ahead and save that, play that back through, you can see now the focus is shifted to the front one. This is a game changer. This is incredibly cool and so super helpful because again, you know, we're able to salvage situations where you're like, oh, love the lighting in that moment, love the composition, everything was working except for the focus, now that's no longer a problem. So like I mentioned, the cinematic mode is available in all the iPhone 13s. And then with the pros, you get those additional cameras. So the ability for the macro photography, as well as the telephoto lens. And I just gotta say though, like this true depth camera here on the front, this is pretty killer. Just imagine your Zoom meetings, like talk about showing up to Zoom looking good, right? <laughs> so thank you so much to Apple for letting me play around with these cameras, loaning those out to me and thank you so much to you for stopping by my studio kitchen here today always a treat to hang out with you i hope you have a fantastic day i hope you stay out of trouble and i'll see you soon all right bye